welcome to zero to six tomorrow once again for another car episode and in today's class we are basically going to look at the different types of the total land cruiser prado most probably if you are keen about cars you must have seen tx txl tz tzg or vx vxl gx gxl kakadu invisible now today we are going to understand what do these tx txl those badges what do they mean are they there for decoration purposes or they have uh, some specific meaning so if you are new to zero to six motoring make sure you subscribe to this channel because we normally do car videos like this you can actually browse through our youtube channel you are going to find many car videos or our facebook page we normally also write car articles they are going to help you to make an informed car decision so total land cruiser prado trim levels explained the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado is sold actually in very many markets. Our cars, what we normally get here in Kenya, they mostly come from Japan, South Africa, the local assembly here, UK or even Australia. The Land Cruiser Prado is actually the best car in its class. Nothing outsells the Land Cruiser Prado in its segment. It is basically an SUV that, that is built to last. It can go anywhere, do anything and most importantly, it's dependable and reliable. <music> The Toyota Land Cruiser Prado is basically named according to the market origin where it comes from. There are four main markets actually for the Kenyan Prados which we normally have here. Japanese, Australia, uh, the UK, South Africa and the local assembly. The basis or the origin of the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado basically defines these badges you see here. Let's start with the Japanese market. Now in Japan there are actually four trim levels. At the entry level of the base spec, we have a TX. After the TX, we have a TXL. After the TXL, we used to have a TZ, which is now chopped from the lineup. And then the top of the range is normally called the TZG. Actually, if you are new on this channel, I've already reviewed Alan Cruiser Prado TZG. You can check it on the channel. So what are the differences between TX, TXL, TZ, and TZG? The first difference, the first thing you'll note immediately for Japanese Alan Cruiser Prados is this flat tailgate actually for the j150 all prados from the japanese origin mostly and maybe the uk market they normally come with this flat tailgate basically when a prado has a flat tailgate it means it has one fuel tank those ones which normally have an, another uh, a spare wheel on the back they normally have an extra fuel tank meaning they are, they can go an extra range that's why they they they, they have that uh, two fuel tanks and the spare wheel on the tailgate now in the entry level, this tier normally comes with the 2.7 liter. It's normally called the 2TR petrol engine. It's normally aspirated, actually. That is the base model. It's gutless, lazy, but very reliable. Something that is pretty simple to live with, especially when you're looking at the maintenance aspect. Now, many Land Cruiser Prados, the TX, normally they come with uh, fabric seats. Most of them don't have a sunroof. And then, yes, they are normally five. There is an option of a five-seater and a seven-seater. In rare circumstances, you can also find a Land Cruiser Prado TX from Japan with a diesel. That is the 1GD 2.8 liter from that is from year 2015, but it's very rare. Most of most of the TX they normally come with a 2.7 liter. The seats inside are normally fabric or leather, but they are normally manual. They don't have electronic adjustability. A sunroof is actually an option. Most some of them with, come with a sunroof, and some of them don't come with a sunroof. How about the TXL? The TXL also comes with either a 2.7 liter petrol engine or a 3000, not a 3000, a 2.8 liter. That is the 1GD engine. But now it's normally better spec than the TX. Basically, you, you find it with actually leather seats, but electric adjustability is normally an option. It also, most of them also come with a sunroof and uh, actually a full uh, Japanese uh, TXL may be different from a local TXL or a uh, a TXL maybe from the South African market so TXL the difference between this and the TXL is that the TXL has, elect, uh, has a leather seats the seats can also be electronically adjusted and then it normally comes with seven seats this one you can find it as a five seater that is the difference between the TX and TXL next we look at the TZ after the TXL we have the TZ now the TZ used to be above the TXL but it was chopped off from the lineup in 2014 now the difference between the TXL and the TZ is that the TZ used to be offered with a 4000cc 
natural aspirated petrol V6. That was the main difference between the TXL and the TZ. It used to come with a sunroof as, a, as, an, op as an option, but most of them used to have it. Leather seats, and then uh, it was better spec different even from the sound system. But then it's not there in the lineup. So the difference is between the TX and TXL and the TZ used to come with a 1GR 4000cc petrol V6, but it's no longer there. Let's look at the TZG. Above the TZ, we have the TZG. Now the TZG is the highest specification Land Cruiser Prado you can get from the Japanese market. Now that is what deserves the name fully loaded. Now the TZG, for example, if you're looking at 2015 for a Japanese one, it normally comes with a 1D 2.8 liter turbo diesel. In it, previously it also used to come with a 4000cc 1GR petrol V6, but nowadays it's ex exclusively offered with the 2.8 turbo diesel, diesel 1GD. That is the same engine you are finding in some versions of the Toyota Hilux and the Toyota Fortuna. Now that one comes standard with a sunroof. It has seven seats. Those seats are, are actually leather seats, just like these ones. And then it has something we call active height control. You can drop that suspension for enhanced road driving. And uh, in the interior, it actually comes with a better sound system. And then even for the wheels, it comes with a 18 inch alloy wheels, which look way better than what you're finding in maybe the TX and the TXL. So those are the Prados from the Japanese one. Now let's look at the Australian market. The second market we're going to look at is the Australian market. Now in Australia you have badges or trim levels or flavors like GX, GXL, VX, Altitude and the, the cream de la cream, the Kakadu. Now the GX is normally offered with a 2.8. Now we are looking from 2015. It's normally offered with a 2.8 liter, that is the 1GD, but it comes either as a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic. In, some, in most cases, actually, the seats are inside are fabric and then they are manual. For most Australian Prados, are the GX, they normally come with that spare wheel on the back of the car because they are normally used for maybe for organizations for long distance travels. That's where you need that extra fuel tank. Above the GX, we have the GXL. Now the GXL comes with the seven seats and uh, it, it's also offered with a 2.8 liter. That is the one G with an automatic six-speed automatic gearbox. Here, a sunroof is actually an option. You can actually find it or you may not find it. But it's, let me say, it's well specced than the GX. The Total and Cruiser Prado Altitude Trim, the Altitude Trim actually was a limited edition that was uh, released because Toyota was celebrating some anniversary. They were celebrating some landmark. It was basically, I think, from 2014 up to 2017. It also came with seven seats, leather seats with a sunroof. Actually, it was also very well specced. Let's look at the VX and the Kakadu. Now, above the GXL and the Altitude, in Australia, we, we have the VX. Let's start with the engine options. VX in Australia comes with a two engine options. That is from for the year 2016. It retained the 4000cc 1GR engine and then the 1GD, that is the 2.8 liter. For 2015 and backwards, of course, you're going to get the 1KD 3000cc engine. Now, when you're looking at the specifications, the nitty gritties, it comes with a sunroof as standard, seven leather seats with ele electronic adjustability. It also comes with a spare wheel on the back of the car. Of course, it's pretty common with Australian Prados. The VX actually comes as an automatic, uh, with an automatic gearbox only. It doesn't come with a manual transmission like uh, the GXL and the GX. Now, when you're looking at the nitty gritties, it comes with the seven leather seats with the electronic adjustability as standard. It comes with a sunroof as standard. It comes with, a, with many features. Actually, it also comes with the KDSSS. That is the Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System for dropping or rising the height of the calf, of course, for more stability. It also comes with a JBL sound system and features like cruise control. Those are normally standard uh, traction controller, heel descent. Those are normally, let me say, uh, common features in the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado VX. Now let's look at the cream de la cream. That is the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado Kakadu. Now, the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado Kakadu being the top of the range has all the features that the VX has but on top of it it also it adds some features for example it comes with all the seats in the front and they are normally electronically adjusted with the driver seat of course having memory settings 
Inside it has a cooler box, you can, you can call it a fridge and it comes with seven seats. A power sunroof is actually standard on this car. It comes with the 18 inch alloy wheels on the alloy wheels and then up front it also comes with the daytime running lights. The JBL sound system in the Kakadu actually is uh, more superior than the VX because it has more speakers. I think 17 speakers while the VX has 12 speakers. Now for the engines it actually comes with a 2.8 that is the 1GD or the 4000cc petrol V6 the 1GR and it was it was it, it actually comes with an automatic gearbox as standard so those are the land cruiser prados from the australian market gx gxl altitude vx and the kakadu now let's look at the south african market now in south africa it's the market is pretty similar to what you're finding in the kenyan market that the local assembly because in south africa we have three trim levels basically we have the tx vx and the vxl so in south africa the 1kd 3000cc engine actually was continued until like 2019 so you will find it in the tx in the vx and actually in the vxl so that's the main difference between uh, maybe australian japanese and south african prados they enjoyed the 1kd engine for quite some long period so the tx in south africa actually has a uh, standard features it's normally a five or seven seater it comes with the leather seats uh, it can have a sunroof it's actually an option and then the vx vx actually has pretty similar features to what i said about the Aust Aust australian one and another thing when you're looking at the top of the range that the vxl and the vx there is they actually also continued producing the one gr that's the 4000 cc petrol v6 so those are the differences between the south african prados and the australian ones or even the japanese ones they enjoyed the one the one kd engine and the one gr engine for quite a long time until maybe in late 2019 let's look at the local market the local assembly now in the local assembly the trim start from tx txl and now vx and vxl now the tx actually can be offered with a six speed manual or a six speed automatic with the 2.81 gd or for 2015 or uh, older models with a 3000 cc 1kd that is for the local industry the local assembly petrols petrol ones were not on offer for the local assembly next to have the txl it has, it actually comes with a diesel engine of course and an automatic transmission with a spare wheel on the back on the tailgate uh, that means an, on an extra auxiliary fuel tank seven seats a sunroof actually is a, can be an option it can be it, it is an option actually for the txl now when you look at the VX, it's actually better spec than the TXL. It, it comes as an automatic gear with an automatic gearbox that is a six speed and then a, with a, either one KD or a, or a one GD engine. One GD of course for 2016 now up front, that's the 2800cc engine. A sunroof is standard for the VX and then a, the wheels are normally 18 inches. For the top of the range for the local market, the local assembly is the VXL. Now the VXL has a sunroof, a standard, seven leather seats, and then uh, the seats, of course, the front ones have electron electric adjustability. Of course, an auxiliary fuel tank is standard because all, most of them have a spare wheel on the tailgate. Now it also comes with a cooler box, which is standard. And then when you're looking at the engine, it actually has a 2.81 GD which actually comes with an automatic gearbox though that is the top of the range the vxl another market you can consider for the land cruiser prado is the uk market they come as active icon invincible and maybe the workmate the top of the range actually is well specced it's similar to the kakadu matters the specs apart from the wheel apart from the tailgate being a flat tailgate while the kakadu has a spare wheel so it's also actually pretty similar with what you are finding in the tzg so those are the types of the Land Cruiser Prados explained. But uh, it's not normally a straight line because you can find the South African Land Cruiser Prado VXL being quite different or more specced than the local version of the VXL. Uh, you can find the Australian VX having more specs than the local VX. So it's not normally a straight line, but at least you've now known the various types of the Total Land Cruiser Prado. Now when you see those badges on the road, you know what they mean. I guess that is enough for today and guys if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe because we normally do videos like this we also review cars you can check our other cars on the channel if you also want to purchase a car you can ring us so that we can help you with pre-purchase inspection and assessment so guys let's catch up next time